Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well and studying very hard. This is a quick mnemonic about Bishop's Code and it is uh, more of a logical sequence to learning Bishop's Code rather than mnemonic because if you look at it carefully, it's all a sequence, okay? And it's really easy to remember. So the first thing that you need to get it into your head that there are almost four points that is only related to the cervix okay like just the cervix so this is bishop score is all about conditions that are more favorable for delivery as the score increases your fav your favorable conditions for labor basically increases okay so that's what you have to think about in that perspective when you regard the parameters of each case so that is one thing that you have to remember and the second thing is that everything are discontinuous ranges so previously even in my breast uh, breast co video i had told about what are discontinuous ranges and you've already studied it in psm as well so this does not start with two it starts with three okay so that's why these are discontinuous ranges so now if you come to this uh, cervical dilatation when you see obviously the more dilatation there will be the more you know baby will be able to come out more easily the more effacement there will be effacement as in you know the cervical um, that cervical tissue it basically changes its uh, its consistency and everything and um, length on the basis of the baby's head that is coming down so that is like one okay next is cervical length obviously there's a shortening as you go down as as the ease of labor increases next you have the cervical consistency obviously the more the baby tries to come out the cervical consistency slowly and slowly starts becoming softer so that's why it's it goes from firm medium and soft and the most important thing what i wanted to discuss is cervical position now why this is important i'll tell you we mostly don't understand what exactly they're trying to tell with regards to this okay so what you have to imagine is the position of the external os with respect to the vagina okay the vaginal canal because this is going to make a birth canal together it's going to make a birth canal so when we say posterior this is what we mean by posterior like if you take the axis of the cervix and then you take the axis of the vagina okay and with respect to the vagina the cervix uh, ka external os is posteriorly placed and then it is midway that's what we mean by midpoint that is given a bishop score of one and when it's a bishop score of two it is placed anteriorly and it is in line with the vaginal canal and the baby can easily come out so this is what is meant by cervical position so now the thing is when you just think about it cervical dilatation will always be in centimeters so you know you say you you say this one finger two finger with like that you keep uh, defining the birth canal you know in your wards and everything so you can relate that to this and basically just go one two three four five six that's it one two three four five six okay it's a z next is cervical effacement now cervical effacement it starts with 30 now how will you remember that it starts with 30 c 30 is like c ulta c ulta c okay so cervical it's like cervical two c's so ulta c two reverse c's okay like this is just a way to remember i know it's not that good but yeah it will do so 0 to 30 it starts with and then you have 40 50 60 70 more than equal to 80 discontinuous ranges and continu discontinuous ranges and it's in sequence okay in everything is in sequence next you come to this okay 4 centimeter now this is like 2 twos are 4 and 2 ones are 2 take it and less than 1 okay so 1 2 okay so two ones are two and then two twos are four something like that you just try and you know this thing it and head station is again in sequence minus three minus two minus one and plus one plus two and obviously cervical consistency the softer it will be the better it is and yeah so that's it for bishop score and i think uh, this is something that really plagued us all and it's actually very easy because everything is related to the cervix except the head station okay like everything that you can think about the cervix now another thing that i wanted to discuss is um, there is a mnemonic out there for just the parameters just the parameters that is called peds okay i'll put the link to it down below it is given by medicos awesome so you can just add that since we have length as the as the additional criteria here 
सो कॉल पीड्स में यू कैन जस्ट पुट एल एल एज सर्वाइकल लेंथ ओके सो सी स्टैंड फॉर सर्वाइकल कंसिस्टेंसी एंड सी स्टैंड फॉर सर्वाइकल एज वेल एल स्टैंड फॉर लेंथ पी स्टैंड फॉर पोजिशन ऑफ पोजिशन ऑफ द सर्विक्स ई वुड स्टैंड फॉर इफेसमेंट डी वुड स्टैंड फॉर डायलिटेशन एंड एस वुड स्टैंड फॉर द हेड स्टेशन ओके सो आई थिंक इट्स वेरी मच क्लियर एंड यू गाइज फाउंड दिस यूजफुल एंड इफ यू डेड do like share subscribe and comment down below and i'll attach the gt analysis spreadsheet link here as well and uh, it was a great response i mean i got so many mails telling me that it was a good initiative so i mean the gt analysis um, spreadsheet was a good initiative to bring out so i'll try my best to bring out more such things maybe anki cards and stuff like that in future but yeah stay tuned and thank you for showing a great response to that and it really matters a lot to me because um i mean i'm doing this in between my breaks when i could easily be reading some manga or something but then i don't want to do that and uh, this really motivates me i mean messages from you guys uh, telling me that my work is actually i mean my work and plus um, you know this this sort of fame man uh you know a fainment technique kind of a thing is really helping you as well as me so i feel really motivated to make such videos so yeah um see you next time